Fa Fa Media. I was a minimum wage movie theater usher that made good and became a top earner in my network marketing company. Now, after 16 plus years in the profession, I'm finally teaching myself how to leverage the internet with online marketing and social media marketing to continue to grow and expand my business. My name is Ronnie Cruz, and this is Path, Path of the Network Path Marketer. All right, welcome Marketer. back to the show. Thanks for tuning in. Today is episode 194. That's right, 194. It is a Officially, the countdown. Well, there's not going to be anything special. Uh, I just want to count down the actual number to episode 200. That's going to be happening this coming Sunday. So be on the lookout for it because what this means is that will be the launch of the rebrand. The show is going to be called Redefine Podcast with Ronnie Cruz, the Redefine Podcast. Um, that rebrand is happening at episode 200. Again, that's this Sunday. So, uh, not that I'm going to do anything special in terms of topics uh, for the countdown, but I just want to count it down. It's exciting. It's a major, major milestone. Uh, I, I couldn't believe, well, of course I can't believe it's happening, but it, it all happens so quickly. Uh, I think, you know, when you're sitting here enjoying the process and, and relishing in the journey and, and the continual growth, yeah, yeah, you just get to these spots. You just wake up one day and all of a sudden, wow, we're at 200. And that's how it was when I hit 100, which was the original goal. And now we're at 200. Um, so that said, I am actually set the new goal or I have set the new goal to doing an entire year of an episode every day on this podcast. I, I really love this format. Doing an episode every day is very manageable for me. It's it's uh, definitely sustainable um, as opposed to going live every day, right? Like I can't batch record live content necessarily. Um, so yeah, this this works. This works. So I've, I've decided to go ahead and, and do at the very least one full year of going uh, uh, well, releasing an episode on this show every day. So 200 is coming up. Keep an eye out for that. For those of you who are already following the show or subscribed, don't worry about changing um, anything. You don't have to resubscribe or find the new, the new podcast, the new rebranded show. Um, it'll be the same feed. It'll be the same RSS. So um, just be aware that the art will change, the title will change, but it's still pretty much the same show. Um, yeah, yeah. So that's exciting. That's exciting. Now, today I wanted to talk about, well, actually revisit a topic, which I think I mentioned this in yesterday's episode. Uh, well, maybe not. But the sheer fact that I'm releasing an episode every day, it, it well, sometimes requires revisiting episodes or revisiting topics because new perspectives happen or, you know, that, that particular conversation has become um, prevalent again in the in the lexicon. There's a good word um, in the in the you know conversation that's going online in the in the uh, content space. Um, this particular conversation revolves around a, a quote that uh, was being passed around months ago and was making the circulations, but it's kind of recirculating again through the social feeds. The quote is, and forgive me, I can't remember who it's attributed to, but the quote is, "Spend more time with people who want more for you." instead of wanting more from you or something to that effect. And, you know, that that kind of quote, I mean, I understand its intention and its well-meaning. I know that much. Um, you know, people people do their best to share their perspectives and, and um, you know, help others, uh, you know, with their messages. Unfortunately, I think especially this one, it just lands a little wrong for me. And so I wanted to address that today. Um, I think a better way of saying it is, be the type of person who wants more for people than from them, right? That makes it more you-centric, right? It makes it more self-centric um, as opposed to, I think, pointing fingers and identifying other people as the cause or root of the friction or potential problems in your life. And that's what the original quote, I think, really um, really does, right? Unconsciously, again, I know it's well-intentioned, but I think, um, you know, it's really, really, su it, it subtly absolves the reader of re responsibility, um, you know, responsibility for their, their own results, their own outcomes, their own lives. And, and it puts the blame on other people. Not only that, but it also makes it very ad adversarial. Um, it feeds into the already growing mindset of you versus them, us versus them, that very kind of, um, yeah, yeah, that versus that versus attitude, right? It's very tribalism at the root of it, um, which, you know, it's, it's, it's pervasive in, in everything, especially, you know, you see a lot of the vitriol and, and uh, the, the, uh, the 
oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Yeah, I mean, it's all, all the hate and the anger towards towards one another. And as I've talked about before, I mean, we're all interconnected um, to the to the degree that the hate that you spew towards somebody else um, is really a reflection of you, right? Like it, it reflects back on on yourself and and the ugly ugliest parts of yourself. So we can't think that we're going to solve our problems by just cutting people out. And, and because um, the other thing is that it really just becomes a judgment, right? It becomes a judgment, all right? Like this person wants something for me. This person wants something for me. Oh, that individual wants something for me. We, we lose sight of the fact that everybody's doing their best and everybody has their own crap to deal with. And, and, and to have this attitude to, you know, kind of distance yourself from people that you deem are only trying to, you know, get stuff from you. Um, it's really, it's really not fair. And it, it, it creates, I think, a more closed off experience in life. Uh, it's impossible. It's impossible to function uh, in this life, especially in the modern age without connection. And, and if you're limiting that connection because of your own um, prejudices and and you know your your own um, judgments of other people, then you're potentially closing yourself off from a more enriched experience, right? So as coaches, as people in the influence space, we have to really, really be careful of the messages that we're putting out there. I've said this the last time we talked about this quote, right? When you shift the focus to talking to the individual and, and, you know, helping them take responsibility, then that's way more productive, right? Because then that's also becomes more empowering. You know, once, a, once we, if we help people take responsibility for their situation, for their life, for their outcomes and results, um, then we also at the same time empower them to make the changes if they need and want to make those changes, right? All right. Changing the external, changing the, 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 you know, be, be, you know, encouraging people to be more guarded or, you know, to watch out who they hang out with and who they spend time with and who they allow into their headspace. Um, it, it doesn't, it doesn't give any kind of responsibility and therefore it doesn't empower. It actually disempowers um, because it's saying that the reasons, again, very subtly and very unconsciously, it's, it says that the reasons why your life is this way is because of the people um, that are in your life. So maybe change that, right? that's not empowering at all. I mean, other than changing your people, but you're always, you're always um, going to be going from, you know, one place to another or one group to another, one relationship to another, uh, thinking that that's where your, your, you know, certainty or stability or your peace of mind or your well-being um, lies. None of that is, is, is in fact true. The only place we can we can get certainty and develop um, inner peace and well-being is is through ourselves. And again, as influencers, if we if we really wake people up to this idea, um, you know, giving them back their responsibility, um, we we empower them. And and yeah, yeah, we we then create a potential ripple effect where everybody is affecting each other in a positive way, right? Right. And, 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 you know, continuing to expand that empowerment, um, that, that, uh, that positivity, that light, be the type of person that wants more for people and instead of from them, that makes more sense to me. I don't know. It lands a little better. Uh, and so I wanted that to be the message for today, 194 episodes in revisiting a topic that I'm sure I'm going to have to re revisit a lot. Um, uh, it might sound a little bit of a, like a hot take, uh, especially in the personal development world. Uh, but I think, again, I, I dive into this. I, I tackle this, uh, this uh, particular topic head on because I feel like personally, I, I feel like I'm seeing too many thought leaders and influencers, people, people in a position of influence using this kind of language. And this is not just this quote. I know, I know I use this quote as the example and I'm picking on it, but there's so many other things out there. Everything like there's so many, so many personal development things that are without deeper context and conversation come across like, you know, protect yourself, guard yourself from, from other people. You know, it's us versus them build these walls, right? Like, like, um, limit limit your exposure to X, Y, and Z, and it's really yeah we got to be careful of that. We got to be careful of that, right? We all we, we I think um, it's important to again um, give people the responsibility over their own life and over their own results, um, and therefore 
empowering them uh, to take back control, to take back uh, control of those results if they need to make changes. So that's my message, 194. Uh, yeah, we're, we're going into this, uh, this uh, milestone of 200 hot and heavy, man. We're, we're, uh, we're, we're plowing full steam ahead. Uh, I don't know. If that's, if that's more opinionated, opinionated than, than, more, you know, than, than my content usually is, then it's because I feel strongly about it. But I think, yeah, I think you know, if, you, if you really just think about it um, logically, uh, and and you know with with a deductive um, uh, framework uh, frame of mind, then then you'll see where I'm coming from, and you'll understand that it makes perfect logical sense, right? It makes perfect logical sense. Um, all right. So, anyways, I'm gonna go before I dig myself deeper in this hole. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, more from me tomorrow. So until then, be well, be safe. We'll see you in the next episode.